Oh, happy new year. First day hike, I guess you call this, at Salt Springs State Park. And it is cold. I was gonna camp last night. The low where I was gonna be, the air temperature was like negative five Fahrenheit. And uh, wind chills down to like negative 30. I'm over here. That's cold. The gimbal doesn't know what to do. The lows are down like negative 30. It was chilly. I got gear, but I don't know if my gear would be able to sustain that. So, stayed home. Fear to come out today. I can't really tell. The hell just hiked up. It's a steep one to get started. So down there, really, there is a little creek. Uh, it's just frozen solid. I was here a couple years ago for, uh, it was either in January, I think it was in January, and it was like this, it was freezing cold. And uh, did a video for it, but the way I do videos are different now, so I figured I'd shoot another one. Yeah, that's a... Uh, kind of see you look right about see where right there there's a little water flowing so yeah we'll hike around a little bit it's beautiful here um, oh, that's gonna come through the snow falling through the sun Yeah, let's walk around and check out Salt Springs. This is why it looks different. Yeah. And people have crossed it. Yeah, it's a little thinner, or a little narrower. No, this is thick.
Uh, so we just spent a little time hiking up on the other side of the park and now we're going to head over to uh, the old growth forest so the opposite side of Fallbrook that we came up on. Not many sections of old growth forest left in the country but or not in the country but in the state but uh this is beautiful up here. It's very handy. <laughs> Just be able to put it down. Water? I've got beard so cold. Mm -hmm. I've got so much ice in my beard. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to water. This is one of the unique things about Salt Springs State Park. Most state parks in Pennsylvania would have this hall roped off. You wouldn't be able to just walk down here. Uh, Salt Springs, on the other hand, this is actually one of the trails up the river, up the falls. It's pretty cool. Now, this is uh, not run by the state park, the uh, DCNR. This is actually run by the Friends of Salt Springs. I think it's the only state park that's not actually run by the DCNR. Um, it just, it's pretty cool.
Yeah, I heard a lot of crunching and cracking up here. I got worried for a second. I don't know if you heard me. I came out like you could. Okay, that's enough playing around on the falls. We're going to go check out the old growth forest now. Yeah, this kind of terrain with ice and everything like this is when you definitely want to have micro spikes. I would not be doing this without them. So we're now getting into the old growth forest. And if you're not sure what old growth forest is, that is uh, a part of the forest that was not harvest it back in the 1800s when they came through and clear cut pretty much everything. And it's usually because it's an area like this where they just couldn't get the logs out if they were to, were to cut them. Some of these trees are just ancient. Like this, I don't know, it doesn't, you can't really tell. Let me put you down for a second, I'll show you. So just, just as a reference, how big some of these trees are, and this is, this isn't even all that big compared to some of the ones that are out here. These trees are humongous. Huge, huge pines. It's a beautiful area. If you're ever in the uh, northern tier of Pennsylvania, uh, this is just outside of Montrose. If you're ever up here, summer, winter, frozen, doesn't matter. This place is gorgeous. It's definitely worth checking out. So now we're going to come up to a spot here called Penny Rock. And I always forget to bring a penny. Uh, don't really know when to start it. But uh, there's just people bring up pennies. And for luck or for wishes or they hammer them into this rock, into the cracks. You see them all hammered in there. All through this rock. All through here. Just pennies everywhere. These are, there you go. So these are Eastern hemlocks, up to 130 feet high, 10 feet around. Most of them are about 300 years old. The oldest one so far, 600 years old. Columbus had not even discovered a new world. Some of these trees were just starting to take root. See, a lot of people think they come here for the, the waterfalls, but you also got all this. So he's a tent and a handrail. <laughs> Don't go over there. <laughs> that itself one. <laughs> yeah, like it goes all the way down here. Yeah, this uh, is not gonna <laughs> danger. It's not really gonna hold you. <laughs> this this is their guard or handrail. Their, that's how Salt Springs keeps you safe. What I like about this place. That does drop off a little bit. 
Oh wait, there's a sign. Oh, well, that's why. Oh. It's not for not for people. That's that's for the trees. So let's go check out the actual springs. The springs the park is named after. So this is the actual salt spring. And you can see it's still bubbling. And uh, what used to happen is, let me get this, I can actually get a better view of that. I went through. So that's the actual salt spring. And what used to happen is the Native Americans used to live here, would divert the river, which goes along this way, over these springs to hide them so that uh, no one else could find them. And it's probably a good idea to not step through the ice when you're doing it. A little tip for you. Yeah. Just a little bit wet. Luckily the boot didn't leak. And the car's right there, so I'm not too concerned. Alright, so that's gonna do it for Salt Springs. Beautiful. This it's just gorgeous in the winter. Love it here. Beautiful in the summer too, but winter times it's got a whole different feel. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, click that like button, subscribe, click the little bell. Happy New Year, and I will see you in the next. Well, those little cards are showing. Um, this is what happens when you're not paying attention. My boot is freezing up. So I stepped through the ice. That wasn't smart. Always pays to wear the right gear. I got waterproof boots on and uh, my foot's dry. Boots frozen though.